Don't look into his eyes. What is up, guys? My name is Frost and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Story Mode Season 2. We are now on episode 4, Below the Bedrock. Now, I decided to make this series kind of spread out, considering a lot of people may not like Minecraft Story Mode Season 2, because I know that it is old now. And I know a lot of people will probably play it and watch it by now. But I thought, you know what, I want to finish it. And for the people that are enjoying it and watching it, I thank you guys all so much. I can't thank you guys enough. I just hope you guys are enjoying the content that I make. And I hope if you honestly care about me, you'll let me finish the series. And if you want to come in and uh, continue this series, then come along. We got plenty of room. Take a seat. We'll be going into an adventure very soon. So let's go, guys. Let's hop into episode four. Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. <laughs> I'm excited. Let's go. Come on, tell me the story. The admin, a villain who can become anyone with a wave of his hand. How do you face a foe who's never exactly as he seems? Do you hide who you really are? Oh, yeah, I forgot. I picked Not that. everyone can face a trickster head on. Some join him. Others put on a brave face, even when they're scared. No matter what, encountering that kind of evil changes you. Oh, no, I forgot about that. It can turn you into a hero or something else. Oh, if yeah. there's a lesson to be learned, it's be careful when you get close to an admin. Oh yeah. You never know what might happen if you dig too deep. Okay, time to figure out what's below the bedrock. I'm excited to see what this goes because I have never ever heard of anything below bedrock. So let's just find out what this is. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Let's carry on guys, let's go. And there was huge titan-sized uh, endermans. They were huge guys. I saw. They were giants. <laughs> Don't worry, everyone. This is just like the time I jumped from the cliffs of the Powell. Only... Uh, uh, who am I kidding? This is nothing like that. You tell so many Thanks stories, Jack. for not leaving him behind. Though, let's be honest, no way you'd pick some llama over Nermi here. She's not just some llama. Yeah. Lima's back there all alone, probably scared. You're thinking too hard about this. I just hope Luna is okay. Yeah. Yeah, me too. She'll be fine. Look, she's an animal. She's got survival instincts. He's not wrong there. Let's see how this admin helps us out. Right. There's a whole world down here. Oh the my first god. World, created by us, Romeo, Fred, and me. Haven't seen it since I was imprisoned. Before he bedrocked over it all. Romeo and Fred, Romeo who's Fred? This, not this. This shadow. The view from up here. It used to be beautiful. So you say. This place doesn't look very friendly or yeah. welcoming. Used to be. But now, guess we're gonna find out together. I knew what Romeo planned to do. Okay. But still, seeing it like this. Romeo? The admin. Oh! It's worse than I oh imagined. Oh my god. <sighs> this is the room where he killed Fred. And I watched it happen. We refused to join him, and it was slow. He needs to be stopped. That's why we're here. He hurt you, and he'll hurt more people. I wonder if he had a heart at all. Sorry. Or he was just a monster pretending to play along. Yeah, who's to say that's not what you're doing? Who knows? You might be playing us, and then you're gonna get Fred's us keep is that trouble. way. Want to defeat Romeo? 
The weapon's in there. That There's a sounded weapon? vaguely ominous. Is that? That is the biggest Enderman I've ever seen. Romeo never could live well enough alone. Oh yeah. Let's go. He Get liked toying with the basic order of things. That is not fair. It would be great if I could go one day, just one day, without seeing something new and completely terrifying. So that thing is another admin created monstrosity. Time to move, guys. <gasps> so mesmerizing. Don't look into his eyes. That's. That's rule eyes, number three. Look at its eyes. Oh, sorry, Jesse. I don't know what happened. It was just hypnotic. So big and glowy. No. Go, go. Going. Ah. Oh, let's go. Oh. Come on, Nerm. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Dismantling the tower. Jesus Almighty. Let's go. Parkour, let's go. Is that carpet? Yeah. Wait, why are you jumping all the way to the carpet? Oh, there we go. My town isn't far from here. I'll lead the way. Fred's keep lies just on the other side, and we'll have some cover from that thing. Oh my god. You guys see? Jesse, we've gotta go. Who's that? Uh, here comes the cool titles. I always love when they put the titles in. Like it's got like it's like um it's like what Borderlands did. They kinda like add music in going when there's an adventure going. Oh, what the heck? Oh, sneaky, sneaky. Oh, there's even creepers here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, he knocked the camera over. That's cool. Oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> this is cool. I like it. Nope. Don't look at the eyes. Alrighty. Is this place safe? No, it is not safe. I mean you know, not asking for me, cause, cause I'm tough. Whatever. Our defenses are Bro. impressive. State of the art machinery, automated farming. The Oasis is a completely self-sustaining city. It's destroyed. Oh. oh. What? What happened to it? I'm so sorry. I can only imagine if I saw Beacon Town like this. Save your pity. Wait, this is your town? What has he done to it? Hang on. I just need to see if it's still here. We have to keep moving. No telling what the admin is up to in Beacon Town. And they'll all think it's me. <laughs> oh, Nermi, Nermi, it's okay. Come here, pal. It's okay. What? What is he saying? Are you guys okay? Nurm here was poking around and found a llama blanket, and um, it made him think of Luna. No! Come on! Don't make me remind me of what I did. Nermie, come on! No. Come on, pal. No. Oh, jeez. I know it's kind of hard to think about, but Luna really is safer in the Sunshine Institute. Fighting the admin could be really dangerous. 
<laughs> Come on, you're a big boy, Norm. Come on. Thanks, Jesse. Years without sleep. Years. Whoa. Only rest is at home. Won't rest until I get there. I said. Zara. <laughs> Look at this. My bed. Come on. She's freaking out about a bed. Really? Could she be any more melodramatic? Wait a second. Wow. Maybe we should help her. Hold up. Be my guest. When a bed's I'm destroyed, you can't respawn in the same place, you so... Ditto. Oh, she can't die. I just wanted to sleep. Uh. I thought if I could find this one thing, one last thing still whole, there's no hope for this place. I'll never get it back now. He made sure. We'll avenge your bed. Yes. He won't get away with this. We'll get back at the admin for what he did. We'll avenge your, your, your bed. You really believe that, don't you? I really feel sorry for Zara now. I, I kind of really jumpy and skeptical with her, but you know now I kind of get the feeling like kind of she's a bit misunderstood. But I feel like that's gonna bite me back in the butt if I trust her too much. Zara, what are you doing over here by this, uh... It's a portal. What? The portal. Broken now like everything else. Just leave me here. Go. Don't lose hope, okay? We can still do this, if you help us. I doubt that. But what about the portal? Where does it go, anyway? Nowhere, obviously. It's broken. We built these so we could visit each other. An object in the frame would teleport you to the owner. My idea, by the way. The Romeo took credit for it. Fred wanted to add the birch. He loved birch. Everyone likes birch. know how to rebuild it. And get us up to the admin. I don't know if I can. That's our only way back. Well, if you don't fix it, then we're stuck down here. Can't get up to the prison. You really want to live here? In the dark? Forever? You make it sound so appealing. We don't have any other options here. I don't get it. How do you keep going? Look where you are, but you're still fighting. Why? Because the admin can't win, Zara. I won't let him. Not after everything he's done. If Fred's weapon can take him down, I'm gonna find it. Fine. It won't work without a personal object. Something with a strong bond to Romeo to take us right to him. Though an object crafted on the surface could do in a pinch. Let me worry about finding an object for the portal. You just focus on getting it right. A running. personal item. Follow the tracks. They'll lead you to Fred's keep. Whatever Fred found, he hid it at home. That's what he told me. Jesse! Go. I'll see what I can do. All right, time to play the game. Let's go. Come on, let me let me get in this action. Let's go. Yo, what's up, spider? Yo, what's up, boy? What's up? You want to drop down? You want to go down? Oh, wait, you want to jump at me, bro? Wait, okay, hold up. Oh no. Come on, come on. And I believe. What? Zara said to follow the tracks to Fred's keep. That's where we'll find the weapon. Kind of useless unless we can find a way out of here. No. Can't exactly go back up through that prison. Zara's got it covered. Oh no. Great. Just what this place is needed. Run on ahead. Let's go. Yes, slice. There we go. Never say no to a little gunpowder. I'm so glad I picked the diamond sword. Close one. Red Keep, here we come. Let's go, baby. Uh, Jesse? What? Oh, come on. No, who made eye contact with the Enderman? I'm sorry. Oh my god. No! I blame him again. Why? He's always doing things, I guarantee it. Oh, no. 
It's okay. We're still okay, so long as it doesn't do that. Everybody jump! Jump! Oh no. Oh, oh, Jack. oh. I'm okay! Are you ready? Please stop saying that! That's gravel! That stuff's gonna drop! You two are in a bit of a pinch, ain't ya? Smell like a couple of admin lackeys to me. AKA trouble. Definitely smells like admin. What the heck? You don't know what an admin smells like. Sure do. Uh, kinda sulfury. Yeah, we're kinda stuck here. Can you help us out? <sighs> Maybe. Depends, really. Yeah, depends. <laughs> On. We've been scavenging these lands since the darkness fell. You know what? We can sniff out an outsider when we sniff one. So what are you doing all the way down here, small fry? You lost? We're okay. here to take down the admin. <laughs> You're kidding! You can't even make it off this gravel cliff by yourself! <laughs> yeah. Jesus. What the heck? Maybe we help you, maybe we just walk away. Leave you here to die! The first one! Pick the first one! I don't know. Seems like a lot of work. Getting down there. Pulling you up. Uh, my arms are tired. Yeah. I promise you, if you don't help us, you're going to regret it. Who oh, wasn't that scary? Terrifying. Gonna have nightmares. Oh my god, <laughs> if you don't pull us up, I, I like swear I'm gonna give it. It takes guts, solid guts. Here's the deal, folks. Down here, we don't do anything for free. Can't really blame us. What with the giant monsters and nothing growing. So, how about we take your inventory for a spin? Permanently! We're really interested in any weaponry you may have. <sighs> a warrior without their sword in a place like this is dead meat! Yeah. Your friend doesn't look like he's gonna last much longer. What'll it be? Don't do it, Jesse. We can find another way. Your swords? Or splat! Flatter than a lily pad at the bottom of this canyon. No, <laughs> I am... Blah. No, my sword is good, but I have to think of the well-being of him. Just uh, gotta get some leverage. Unlike the angles there, I can do this all day or night, I suppose. I Sorry, buddy. Same thing down here. No nope. deal. Nope. Yeah, well, that's disappointing. Yeah, we'll go our own way. Don't go playing heroes, squishies. World this dark will snuff out a light like you. I'm coming back for them. I, I swear they think. Oh my. Jack! Jesse! Jack! Eh, tried to tell ya. <laughs> Move out, ya stink bags! Jack! Where's Jack? I'm sure he's not dead. I'm sure he's fine somewhere. Oh god, no. Yeah, I should have probably given this the word. I'm sorry. Dang it! Where's Jack now? Jack? Sorry about your pal. Hope that sword was worth it. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna kill them. Jesse! Oh, I'm so glad you're okay. Where's Jack? They probably would have just taken the sword anyways. They probably wouldn't have helped us. He's not dead. I know he's not dead. Come on. He wouldn't be dead. You'll I'm gonna I'm gonna see him. He's gonna be somewhere, I guarantee it. He was gone. Did you see him land? Whoa, the place looks cool. Jack, he, he can't be. Jesse? No. He, no. He'll be fine, no. right? He's okay. Jack will be okay, buddy. 
He's got perfect muscle memory, remember? Bet he's had to dive off a cliff or two in his day. Oh god, Nerm's gonna let the waterworks. You heard Jesse. He's gonna be okay. Oh no. Come on, Nerm. God, I'm left with no one now. I guess this is how they keep the mobs out. Whoa. Hardcore. Well done. Well done. Strangers. Who's that? Strangers. Binta. Ooh, what do we do here, Jesse? Stop. Stop right there. Okay. Okay. I don't want any trouble. You're not getting any what? trouble. I've never seen you before, and, and I know everyone. Everyone in the underneath. Binta! She's not coming back. Who's is she? Binta? Someone in there has to know where that weapon is. Let's go. Let's go, come on. Careful. They might be well armed, and now they know we're coming. Yeah, what are they going to be armed returned. with? Think about it. Festivities will close with a fireworks display as usual. Whoa. And don't forget to sign up for our Faithful Friends of Fred trivia competition for a chance to win one night in Fred's house. Come on, people. We can't let Kent win every time, can we? Study what? up. Competition starts at Fred o'clock. Really? Why did I say that? They're having a trivia contest? Doesn't that seem a little silly? Silly? They're trapped underground with a bunch of monsters, including a giant freaking Enderman. Yeah. Oh man, I love trivia. Yeah. You do? Yes! It's so fun! Flexing those brain muscles, taking your mind off the incredible misery in the world, crushing down on you every- Relax. Really? I mean, uh, oh, look at that. Come on, let's go. Let's figure out what's going on. Come on, let's go. Come on. Uh oh. Welcome to Fred's Keep. My name is Binta. This is the part where you tell me why you're here. Yeah. Fair We're enough. looking for a weapon that belonged to Fred. It's supposed to be hidden in his home. Maybe we could take a look? Fred's house is sacred and locked. No one enters unless they win the contest. Oh, no come on. It's I have to win a contest now? Fred. Even I only entered through its doors on special occasions. <sighs> Most of my townspeople have never even been inside. Okay, let's do some trivia then. <laughs> That's the spirit. I wasn't sure an outsider would understand. Fred built this place, made it safe from all the monsters out there. Okay, this come on. This is his legacy. His final request. This is cool. I like this. Until someone wins. Why can't this be You're a biome? You're welcome to try your luck. See how well you know Fred. I don't know him very well yeah. at all. I've, I've never met him. Guess you better start researching. Good luck. This place. You're joking. At the study? Come on. Okay. Uh, but why do they have a biome like this, or like a portal no that takes you underneath the, no, like something like this in Minecraft in one of the updates? God. I'm gonna take a stick. Why not? Nice. Any resources is useful. Okay, let's figure out where I'm going. Uh, I wonder if people can tell me about Fred. What's this? No, that's boring. Uh, hello. Oh, Ken won every year, so I can learn from him. So. So you're the one, the one who thinks they can beat me as a faithful friend of Fred. Hey, dude. But I'll tell you something, stranger. I am the most faithful friend of Fred, which means I always win. And that means you will lose. So good luck. I don't even know what to do with that one. Yeah. Let's keep her going, okay? Actually, you know what? Hilda, let's see what Hilda's got. Actually, no. Hilda's got nothing. She's got, like, cool mushrooms, but that's not what I'm looking for. I need. Oh my God! Let's talk to Cam. Listen, calm down. All right. I'm, please, please relax, don't man. Hurt the I did what you asked. Yeah, okay, don't freak out. Yeah, you're Backing freaking out. Away, nice and non-threatening. Oh come on! You can't tell me anything. Fine. 
Ah, <sighs> what else? Oh, the house is kind of destroyed. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, working now, are we, Radar? Nice news, Radar. Like water in a bucket becomes the bucket. Nice moves, Radar. You've been practicing. Ah, well, thanks. I didn't know you were... Uh, just want to be ready. Anyway, the Oasis and Fred's Keep are all, you know, kind of broken. But I wonder what this place looked like before. Yeah. I bet it was amazing. It probably was. The admin's not going to do this to Beacon Town, is he? We have no idea what he's doing up there. It could be all gone. Our town is strong enough to hold him off. Yeah. For a while. I hope so. Okay, come on. No, you're right. We gotta believe in them. Radar, you gotta chill, man. I gotta go Look, find some people. If there's one thing I learned in the slammer, it's that I have to keep my body ready for anything. Bro, you... What? Achoo. You were in the slam. You were in a prison for like like two days. Not even. Really, my guy? Okay, what? Oh, my sticks. I'm gonna take as many resources as possible. Because honestly, you can never go wrong with too many resources. definitely use these. Thank you. I knew that. I've got... Gunpowder and a stick. Uh, Nurm is talking to the wise people. Who else knows? Willie. Let's talk to Willie. Willie. Give me. Hey there. I'm looking for information about Fred. Well, this here was Fred's cherished pet. But you'll never guess his name. Never. You stay in there now. Don't want that dog getting you now, do we? How can I get him to call out that chicken's name? The do oh the dog, he said the dog. Oh, pick up, ooh, pick up the bone, throw it in there, and get the chicken out. It's genius! It's genius. It just might work. Hello. Wow, you are really cute. Oh, what a puppy. Uh, send after chicken. Yes. Hey there, little guy. I got a game for you. There you go. Okay, you see that chicken? He loves playing chase. Go get him. Dog, what are you? Oh no! Waffles, waffles, come back, come back! Waffles, huh? Fine, Done. you got me. It's waffles, all right. Chicken could never make a decision. Poor fella. Waffles, got it. So his name, uh, faithful pet was Waffles. This person is good at painting, so obviously he's got something. Like to paint with his feet? Nope. Hurt my painting hands going out into the wilds beyond the keep. Nasty stuff out there. Should have listened. Not safe to wander. Okay. That's why no one ever leaves. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Like this, but these old dogs aren't up to crap. Okay. So where am I going exactly? I don't get this. Like, you craft me a canvas, and I'll tell you Fred's favorite color. You know, I got some wool, but not enough sticks. You'll have to find some more to get it done. Get that done, prompt like. I'm on a roll, and this one's almost finished. You got it. Okay, so I have to make a canvas. Okay, I'll take the bone, I guess. Oh. Uh, play fetch with. Uh, back out. No. There you go. Oh, he's so mad. Jeez. Okay. Um. No, not just yet. I think there's much more to talk about. Uh, favorite color. Wait, where was the crafting table? I saw a crafting table. Somewhere. Oh wait, no. Now I, I should talk to Hilda because Hilda. Something about those um, crops. Say something. Hi. Um. Oh, you want to know something about Fred? Yes, I do. Uh, yeah, actually. How did you? His favorite tool, a diamond hoe. That's why I use two. And why I take farming my mushrooms super, super seriously. All right. Super serious. Cool. Yeah. Sure. Makes sense. He, his favorite uh, tool was a uh, diamond bye. hoe. His favorite pet, chicken, was waffles. What else? I need to know one more, and I don't know how to make a canvas, he said. I'm not talking to Petra. Petra's not going to tell me anything. 
Where is the crafting table? Actually, you know what? Let's go back and talk to Binta. Binta must know something, I guess. She has to. Ah, there you are. Are you ready to begin? Yeah, you know what? Yeah, let's do it. I'm ready. Let's, let's do it. Let's do this. Let's do it. It's about time. Attention, everyone! Let all faithful friends of Fred gather, for our competition begins now! Okay, one of the questions I'm gonna have to guess, but the other two. Gather around, everyone! Let's Will do it! Contestants, please take the stage! Woohoo! Don't please wanna break! Welcome reigning champion Kent, and we have a challenger! Uh... Jesse, it's Jesse. Jesse! Let's go! That feeling of intimidation? Totally normal. I have that effect on people. Can't shut up. Comes from being the best. Let's go, boy. What you want to drop? Let's of go. Intellectual fortitude. May the most faithful friend of Fred win. Yo, oh, I will. For our first question, I thought we'd mix it up a little. What? I challenge you to build a faithful representation of our dear Fred. Yeah, Jesse's the best at building. Not the huh. time, Radar. I have Begin. to build him. I'm gonna lose instantaneously here, anyways. Okay, I don't wanna spend too much time. Uh. Oh, there we go. Uh, I'm trying my best here. Oh, okay, hold up. Da, 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 da. Uh 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 I <laughs> Oh god This is not good Actually you know what He kinda looks like a squidward Right now Oh god How did I manage to get that? Okay, fine. I, I guess I can go with that. Um, the green on the top. And the the. Oh God! Oh, that's it. Oh wait, how about I'm? I what's it called? No, I fill there and get the black right there. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. Come on, give me a break here. That's uh, that's 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 good, right? Sort of. Oh wait, the eyes. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh yeah. There we go. Not bad. Not bad. All right. I'm good. It's perfect. It's a nice. space. Yes. 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 Jesse. It's as if you've known Fred his whole life. <laughs> what? How can you say that? That, that what? thing looks nothing like our fallen leader. Fred's true spirit didn't lie with his exterior, Kent. But what was underneath? This is his true essence. Though, I must give you points for accuracy. Such painstaking detail. Eh. I declare this round a draw. A draw. Really? What? This was quite possibly the best presentation of Fred's in the history of our competition. Now for the questions. Let's Kent, go. you will go first. Let's go, baby. Of course. Come on. Remember, you have a limited time to answer. What was Fred's favorite food? Oh, that's easy. Any truly faithful friend would know that Fred enjoyed bread correct now you jesse fred was a loyal fan of the color blue we all know that but what kind of blue did he love the most dang it it's the one question I didn't do. come on jesse you can do this silence from the audience please sorry uh light blue oh i'm truly sorry jesse damn it that is not correct. This round goes to Kent. Let's see if Jesse can catch up. Unlikely. Next question. Come on. Kent. Fred was a man of simple means, 
but he had one point of excess. His favorite tool. What was it? A diamond hoe. Dang it. Obviously. Very good. Jesse, Fred had a constant companion. A fine feathery Yes, friend. I know this one. What was that pet's name? <laughs> we actually met a chicken named Benedict once. <laughs> really? Waffles. Pet, Waffles. Final offer. Was named Waffles. For the way he was always waffling. That is correct. Thank Jesse, you. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Jesse, this is your last chance to steal. Oh victory. come on! No, I didn't know much. Listen closely, both of you. The final question is one that only the most faithful friend to Fred could possibly know. I don't know this stuff, As man. Such, it is worth double. Whoever answers this question correctly first okay. will win one it's getting, night it's getting in Fred's intense. house. Of all the trees in the forest, of all the wood we once built our homes with, this was Fred's favorite. What was it? <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, no one knows that. Uh, Fred didn't play favorites with resources. Did he? Ah, but that's where you're wrong. Oh. But, but, uh, I, I, silly Kent, silly Kent. You need an answer. Sorry, Kent. It's Birch. Sorry, Kent. You I have to put you down. Yes. Yes. Birch was Fred's favorite. Sorry, Kent. Sorry, does it that's feel bad to lose? <laughs> Way to go, Jesse. Let's go. Congratulations! All right. That was very impressive. Thank you. I'm sure I'm not the only one surprised by this turn of events. As your prize, you will spend one night in Fred's house. Be careful not to disturb its contents. And here are your sleeping garments. Ooh. The true <laughs> mark of Fred. Only the champion sorry, gets Ken. to wear these. It's a very special privilege. Okay, he's always won. Okay, I, I love them. I love them. Thank you. I want to try them. Sure, why not? Ken's always been in there, man. Come on. <laughs> Give me a break. I want to get something. Ken, my God. Nice. Jesse. I hope you find what you're looking for. Undergarments. So what? I just chill with them can i take them off and just go back to my other clothes because they were kind of cool too kind of cozy yeah okay if i were a weapon of some sort where would i be let's think about it where would he hide it behind a painting no not underneath the bed no way that's too obvious his favorite tool was a hoe no no way it'd be in a closet nothing in here now uh Except excuse me that button. press the button my guy press the button it's a... Whoa, secret room. Ooh, I like it. Okay, show me this weapon. There's gotta be something down here. Uh, books. Uh, it's a map. Three towns. There's the oasis there and the keep. Third is Romeoburg. Seriously? kind of name is Romeo Berg? Which was the prison. Okay. So, where would he hide the weapon? Uh, this book really looks f kind of interesting. I know I had my doubts, but it was worth leaving home. I'm glad I had Zara and Romeo with me. So he left. Wait, no. Th this is Fred's journal. It has to tell I don't know what Romeo well. wants anymore. It hurts. All I wanted was the three of us together. Maybe we should have never left the cabin. Okay, then. We weren't just happy there. We were home. Wait. Home? Then he wasn't talking about here. Is what? There wasn't a cabin on the map, though. Okay, so his weapon has to be in a cabin. That's where his home is. Nothing else in here. Maybe the others found something. Binta! Jesse, I... There's something I need to ask you about. Uh... How did you know the answer to that last question? It's not common knowledge. 
and it was shared with me in great confidence before, well, before this place was considered underneath. I knew because Zara told me. She knew Fred better than anyone. Zara? As in Fred's Zara. The Zara. The one and only. She hasn't been seen down here in a very, very long time. You're more impressive than you seem. Thank you. Maybe they're right after all. Maybe you are from above the bedrock. I am above the bedrock, Rumors simple. Rumors have been going around since your arrival. There aren't many people we don't recognize down here. Yeah, about that. Well? Did you at least find what you were looking for? This weapon? Nope. I don't know why Fred would have one. Not the weapon exactly, but some promising clues. Romeo, Zara, and Fred had a cabin that they called home. We need to find it. Yeah. Romeo? Did they say Romeo? The admin? Yes, the admin. Right now he's in our town, pretending to be me. We need to stop him. Problem is, we don't know where the cabin is. I want to help you, but there's something I need from you in return. If you're really from up there, then you must have a way back. Take us with you, above the bedrock. Above? Vita, what are you saying? We don't know what's out there. It has to be better than this. Yeah. We're safe here. And if Romeo... Romeo tracked us down here. He wants us to stay. I won't give him the satisfaction. You welcomed us in. Of course we'll help you. Thank you. Sounds like you may have to do some convincing. They'll come around. The mycelium on this island has kept the monsters from spawning, and we've been safe here so far. But it won't last. Our only chance for a real future is up there. Zara's repairing the portal that will take us up. If you want to go through, meet oh, us in the oasis. This is my uh, build. Fred left this to me before he. <laughs> oh no. Is this a sad chapter? The needle points home. When he didn't come back, I tried to follow it, but got stopped at the gates to Romeoburg. They've got a massive army, so be careful. Won't be hard. Please, take good care of it. You've shown I can trust you to respect Fred's memory. You didn't have to do this. Yeah. Thank well, you, really. You're very welcome. I'll prepare my people. You take these. Fireworks? Signal us when you're ready, and we'll be there. All right. Great, you're here. We've got a new destination, so. Uh, wait, what? I I don't think I heard that right. What did he say? He says he's not coming with us. He's gonna stay here and wait for Jack. All right. Nerm, we can't just leave you here by yourself. Nurm, you can't stay. We need you with us. I think he said Jack needs him more. Okay. We understand, Nurm. He says he'll look for the fireworks. Once he finds Jack, they'll meet us at the Oasis. Hey, stay safe. Okay. Another sad ending. Think you can just walk Where? off with a pocket of the finest sticks in the land, huh? Oh. Whoopsie. Not today. Sorry about that. What? They're a little touchy about their inventory. Oh, yeah. Okay. <sighs> Time to look for that cabin. Actually... Yeah. I think that's good. Okay. All right. All right, guys. I'm going to leave it for right here for this episode of Minecraft Story Mode uh, Episode 4. Uh, I mean, it was, yeah, it was good. Um, I think it was a bit uh, plain, but you know what? Knowing the story of the other admins, 
and everything. It's a bit quiet. I know it's slow paced, but guys, if you can bear with it and enjoy the story as much as I am, like, you know, you kind of get into it and you kind of understand the story a lot more. And overall, it's a good story. And so far, so well. Um, yeah, it's going good. So, guys, if you happen to enjoy this my episode of Minecraft Story Mode, please give it a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And if you guys are new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button to join the Frosty Squad. Ladies and gentlemen, that is all I have for you guys for today. But with that being said, guys, stay frosty, stay amazing. I'll see you lovely people in the next video. Later, guys.